Hey guys, in today's video, we're replacing our MIDI cables with this. This is the Witty Jack, and it is a wireless MIDI adapter by CME Pro. And you can see about the size, it's about the size of my finger. So a while back, I did a video on this. This is the Witty Master, and it's by the same company, CME Pro. This is their newest one, and instead of just using just Power, getting wireless out of a standard five pin MIDI, the Witty Jack has multiple options. You can still use it with standard five pin MIDI. You can also use it with 2.5 millimeter, 3.5 millimeter, TRS or quarter inch MIDI, and also this mini six pin MIDI cables. So you have way more options of what you can use with MIDI. There's also a couple other features with the Witty Jack compared to the Witty Master, which I'm gonna go over. But basically it's a way to convert any MIDI input or output into a wireless Bluetooth MIDI, which is really cool. I'm gonna demo it, go over some of the specs, go over some of the setup and explain how it works. So if you're interested in ditching the MIDI cables and going to Bluetooth or wireless MIDI, be sure to stick around and check out the Witty Jack. Before we get started, I post videos like this all the time, stuff on MIDI, wireless, gear reviews, finding cheap stuff, on Amazon, cool new tech for musicians, stuff like that. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. All right, let's get started. First of all, I do want to thank CME for sending me the Witty Jack to check out. They did not pay me for this. They just sent it to me to check out. And I really like this company and I really like what they're doing. So many thanks to them. So it's pretty simple with any of these setups, no matter which one you use. For the Witty Jack, you have these in and out, these two arrows right here. So you basically just plug these in like that, and plug them into the device that you're gonna plug them into. And that's true for true for any of these, whatever your combination setup is. So I'm gonna be demoing this with the good old reliable HX Stomp, which has the MIDI in and out ports right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug these in. And you can see that the Woody Jack turns on and it gets power from the HX Stomp. So I'm gonna show you all the different ways to connect this, but that is basically it for the setup. It is really easy. Now this video isn't gonna be about how to program MIDI. If you're interested, I did do a pretty extensive video on that. So be sure to check that out and also check out my videos I did about programming your HX Stomp and your Helix using MIDI if you're interested in seeing that. But for this video, I'm just gonna demo how the Witty Jack works. Okay, so just going over some of the specs online. This is a from the CME website. So this is a way to connect instrument to instrument BLE MIDI connectivity. So this just replaces your MIDI cables and it converts it into Bluetooth MIDI or wireless MIDI. It uses Bluetooth 5, which is a more modern and advanced technology. I did a review on a different brand and a different wireless MIDI that does not use Bluetooth 5, so this is definitely better than that. Ultra low latency, three milliseconds of latency, which is amazing. It does automatic pairing, which is really cool, so you don't even need like a computer or an iPad to connect these two, which I will do in a little bit. Um, you can send MIDI clock information and SysX messages as well, so it sends every MIDI message you want. No external power needed and you get all the different options of different, basically any MIDI connection that you can think of, you can do with this device. Something that's also nice, it does have this 3M tape on here so you can take it off and stick it to something if you want to leave it. But I'm gonna be using this with multiple devices, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on. Okay, so connect, I'm gonna show you how to do this to kind of connect it with your computer, how to connect it with an iPad, and how to actually connect it with no iPad or computer or anything and just use multiple CME wireless MIDI devices together without even a computer, which is really cool about their like ecosystem that they're doing. So you need this app called the Witty, Witty app, and I'll post a link to it down below. And it'll search for the devices. You can see it found the Witty Jack. So I'm gonna push Witty Jack. It's connecting, it's connecting. And it'll get, do this Bluetooth pairing request, hit pair. And you can see that it's no longer blinking over there and it has paired the device. You can also click update firmware and stuff like that, but my I already did that ahead of time. And you have all these different power, uh, you know, you can change the transmission power and stuff like that. This stuff, most of it, you don't really need to worry about and you can just have it just connected right here. So I have this connected to my HX Stomp. So I'm gonna use an app called MIDI Designer. I do plan to do a video about this in the future. Again, this isn't really a video about how to program MIDI or how, how to do anything like that. So do watch my my videos on this. I, I do go over videos of how to control your HX Stomp and Helix with MIDI. But basically I know I have this program that this button right here is going to send the MIDI CC command to enable this button. So watch, when I push this button, see how this button lit up. And then when I push this little button over here, this middle one's gonna light up and back and forth. So it is connecting wirelessly over my iPad and then sending a wireless signal to my HX Stomp. And you can see the Witty Master blinks when it gets a signal. Really cool. 
really easy to use and really easy to set up. So my HX Stop does not normally have a way to have receive Bluetooth MIDI. With the Witty Jack, it now does. Really cool. Okay, so how to connect to your computer. So on a Mac, you go to your audio MIDI setup, which looks like this. You can also go and search and type audio MIDI setup in order to find it. So you're gonna go up to the top, go to Window, go to Show MIDI Studio. It's gonna load up, you're gonna see the Bluetooth icon right here. Click the Bluetooth icon, and then it'll find the Witty Jack, and just hit Connect. It'll ask for, for the number, hit Connect, and you can see it is now connected. So that's how you do it on a Mac. All right, if you're trying to connect to this using a Windows computer, this is from the manual. I don't own any Windows stuff, so I don't know how to demo this, but following these steps, you should be able to get there. Okay, so now check this out. This is really cool about the CME wireless MIDI system. So I have the Witty Master as well as the Witty Jack. So right now I have the Witty Jack plugged in to my HX Stomp and I have the Witty Master plugged into my Helix. I'm not using any iPad, it's not connected to anything. And when I plug them in, they actually automatically found each other. Really cool about their system is that you don't even need a computer or an iPad to connect these two devices. So if you watch what happens, when I change when I scroll through my presets when I change the preset on my HX stomp it changes the preset on my helix because I have those communicating with each other on the same MIDI channel really cool so I could so I don't even need a computer I can just plug these two in and get them to talk to each other if I wanted to super cool for them to be able to do that okay so next up is the range test so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this with my iPad I'm going to be changing the button using that MIDI designer app and I'm going to walk around my house and see if we get any dropouts from the Woody Jack most of the time when you're using wireless MIDI you're not going to be super far away, but I'm going to push this thing to its limit and see how far it goes. still connected very cool okay so i it didn't cut out that's really amazing i'm able to walk around my house go through walls and stuff like that and still able to have that connection that's a solid connection so the range test works great all right so what is the main difference between the witty jack and the witty master they both basically do the same thing right especially since i'm using the adapter that has the midi the standard five pin midi so the main difference with the witty jack is that you have multiple different connections that you can use wireless midi with so like i showed you at the beginning of the video you get five different combinations standard five pin midi cable which i demoed trs MIDI, 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch MIDI, 2.5 millimeter MIDI, or this mini six pin MIDI cable. The most common way to use it is with these, which is why the Witty Master is so great. As of right now, the only devices that I use that use MIDI use these types of standard five pin MIDI cables. However, this is actually perfect timing that I got this, is that I ordered a product called the Array Touch on a Kickstarter thing, and it's coming out soon, which I will be doing a video on, so be sure to subscribe to see that. But that one does not have wireless MIDI. It has just a, I believe it, I can't tell from the picture if it's either quarter inch or 3.5 millimeter. That does not have wireless MIDI capabilities. So when it gets here, I can use this in order to make it wireless which is awesome. So yeah, the most common one are these five pin ones. However, there are other MIDI options, which is what the Woody Jack was designed for. Something else it was designed for was to get external power. So most of the time, what's cool about the Woody Master, and again, watch my video on that if you haven't already, is that the out, you can actually just use it with the Woody, with the MIDI out, and that's what powers this thing. And then you plug in the MIDI in, and you can do MIDI out and in. But and so the power is from the MIDI out. However, what if you're just using just MIDI in? You have no way to get power from that. With the Witty Jack, it comes with the spot to power the Witty Jack with USB-C. So if you need power, you plug in USB-C and you can see you have power right there. So in the situations that you have where you tried using this and you do not get power from the output. That's not the Witty Master's fault. That's the device that you're using does not supply power out of the MIDI out port. So CME was really smart and they decided to have an option that you can plug in 
power from there, from like a power bank or something like that. And I did find this on their website. This is a great explanation of why you might need that. So most of the time, the MIDI out port will supply the needed power for these devices. As I mentioned on here, not all manufacturers follow these standards. And you might even have a device that just has MIDI in, or you're just trying to just use MIDI in, and you don't need the MIDI out. So this is solved by using the WIDI jack. Ultimately, do you need this or do you need the Witty Master? So the Witty Master is definitely a little bit cleaner and easier to set up, although this one does have that 3M tape, which is really nice. So if you don't really need any of the extra features of the Witty Jack, sure, you can get away with just the Witty Master. If that is all you'll ever need, all your devices, every single thing that you use supplies power to the Witty via the MIDI out, which currently all my devices do. And all of my devices that I'm using wireless MIDI with use just a standard five pin one. However, like I said, I'm getting that air rate touch, which I am going to need the adapter. And once it shows up, I'll know if I need quarter inch or eighth inch MIDI, but the Witty Jack has both of those as options. So if, I, if it gets here and I need 3.5 millimeter, I'll use this. If it's a standard quarter inch or TRS, I'll use this. So that's what's really cool about this system. It's basically just a universal wireless MIDI system. So just that if the fact that it has extra stuff including the ability to power it, the different configurations. That, to me, makes it worth it for the Witty Jack. I'm still going to use this one because of just how easy it is to use. So you're just going to have to decide on your for your system, do I just need this one? And again, most of the time, most keyboards will power the MIDI out and supply power to this. But just in case if it doesn't, you do have this option here. Really, really cool. I really like what CME Pro is doing. I love their products. And they're actually, they're working on the Witty U host right now. They haven't released it yet, but it's for wireless USB MIDI, which is super cool. And once that U host comes out, I'm definitely gonna get one and do a review on that as well. So I hope this helped you guys out. Links are in the description down below on where to purchase these. They are affiliate links if you use the link down below. So it is a great way to help out my channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra, just, just gives me a small kickback and it's a way to help out my channel. So I would appreciate it if you do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you made it to the end of this video, hitting the like button does a lot to help out the YouTube algorithm gods and just recommend my channel and this video to more people. So I would appreciate it. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos of some gear that I've covered. As well, I do a lot of gear reviews and finding different stuff that's relatively inexpensive for musicians. Also, don't forget to check out my MIDI programming playlist where I go over a ton of different stuff about MIDI programming. Thank you again to CME Pro for sending me the Witty Jack. I really like this company and I really like what they're doing. And I look forward to trying out their products in the future. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time.